We are the dollars and cents. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I want to do a quick uh, little video for you guys. I'm not sure how it's going to go. Honestly, there may be an update. There may, there may not be an update. We will see. Came across a post on Facebook in one of the fragrance groups online. On Facebook, I mean. Someone talked about this fragrance. And I've seen this particular brand at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So they're super affordable. But I saw someone post about this one and they said it's it's a clone of a niche fragrance. And I'm thinking, why would they why would they clone that particular fragrance? Because that because I wouldn't think that any company because you know they're always gonna do the most popular ones. Aventus, uh, you know, Santal 33 is a new one that people have been cloning a lot of, Baccarat Rouge, people have been cloning a lot of because they're super popular. But uh, this fragrance is a little bit in left field for me. I really like the original. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'll link the video to my original uh, video to the um, to this particular fragrance down below. Um, but I just thought it was kind of funny that they picked this fragrance to clone. But I gave them a little bit of credit. And we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, it's from the... I, I, I don't know what the name of the house is. We'll see. It's uh, Camera, Camara Perfumes. These are at TJ Maxx. And uh, it's El Dorado Black Iris. Okay, now this fragrance was fourteen ninety nine, as you can see there. Um, I did see a couple of other fragrances before this one came out. Um, it was like an all black, just like this, but it was all black. And I think that was a. Actually, I don't know what fragrance it was, but it smelled really, really good. I want to say they had. It might have been another company that had yeah, that another company or this one, but been a different shade. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was uh, like a Tuscan leather, I think. But I want to say the one that I tried from this one was. A very skanky leather that I actually didn't mind. I couldn't pinpoint what what the clone was. Um, but anyway, like I said, someone on Facebook posted a picture of this one and said, hey, it's a clone of um, Amouage Interlude Black Iris. It even has the same name, Black Iris, there at the bottom. So I did see this at the store today. I actually um, saw this one in line when I was checking out and getting a pair of shorts or something, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, there it is. So I just sprayed my hand quickly. Had I known it was as good as it is, because I already tried it this afternoon, I probably wouldn't have tried it right then and there, right? I was gonna I was gonna save it for, I should have saved it for the video to do it fresh, but I can still let you guys know how they are side by side, because I was just going off of memory on that one. But I will say, just on first impression, this was pretty good. This was pretty good. I was really surprised by... Like I, like I said a second ago, I was really surprised they picked that fragrance to do a clone of. But but going off of memory, it was actually pretty good. And I want to say it lasted a long time too. But again, um, we're going to try these side by side. Uh, I will tell you guys the notes for the uh, interlude Black Iris just because, um, uh, just to give you guys a refresher. Uh, again, uh, I don't remember getting all these notes when I originally tried this one. Again, I'll link that video down below. Um, but in the top, we have Violet Leaf, Rosemary, Bergamot, and the mid, we have Oris, Olibanum, Myrrh, Labdanum, Amber, and Vanilla. And the base, round things off with Leather, Oud, Sandalwood, Patchouli, and Cedar. I do not know what notes are in this one. Like I said, it's very similar. Um, so, we'll see. But, uh, a tester for this one right now on FragranceNet with their 30% discount is $173.99 for a 100ml tester. So, that's very expensive. This fragrance here is $14.99. So again, guys, if you, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But if you like this one, you might want to get this one. We'll see how close they are. I got fresh hands here. I'm going to roll my sleeves up real fast. And I'm going to wear this El Dorado tonight so I can get a good feel for it. But I'm going to keep the other one on my right hand. But I'm going to put the El Dorado Black Iris on my left hand. And here we go. Good sprayer, I will say. Very good sprayer. A lot of juice. Nice. That smells, that smells really, really good. Okay, here we go. Going in with the black iris on my right hand. <laughs> you know what's sad? This has a better atomizer than the Amouage, if you can believe that. Okay. Here's the black iris, or the Eldorado. <laughs> wow. Okay. Right off the top, I will say these are very very similar I'm getting the leather some green notes some spiciness the woodiness this one's just a little bit sharper this one has a little bit more uh, citrusy punch um, the bergamot in this is just a little more uh, has a, it's a little bit 
I don't want to say it's more natural. It just has a little bit more of a sharpness to it. Guys, just right now, for $14.99, this is not a bad little clone of a niche fragrance that sells. This fragrance retail sells for, I think, over, over $200, if not $300. So... Okay, I will say just quickly that the I the, you could tell there's a bit more. I'm gonna say just quality. I, I don't even know if it's that. Just because this is so cheap compared to the full version here, I'm gonna have to maybe say quality, but uh, maybe quality ingredients, or maybe they added some notes that uh, aren't in the El Dorado. Yeah, this one just has a more of a. There's a bit more animalic note to this one. There's a bit more sharp citrus note. Um, I'm getting a lot more leather in this one right now, which makes me think that they just added maybe some extra leather to because this does come like in a leather bound case here. Not sure if it's real leather or not, but it is stitch, which looks really nice. It has like this little, I don't know if that's just to kind of to maybe put your thumb in. It looks like it's a little flask here. But um this does have a, a lot stronger leather, like a like a like a like a pair of boots kind of leather. This is just spicier, more resinous, darker, um, a little stickier, which I guess is resinous, woodier. I'm starting to see the differences coming out now. The difference in quality. I'm really am, am left with a kind of a stereotypical leather smell with this one right now with a little bit of citrus notes in it and a little, it's just a little bit lighter or a little bit less of um, quality or strength than the original. This one, you can get more of the violet leaf and I'm just getting a lot more out of this one. Smokier. I mean, it's got the myrrh in it. It's got the olibanum. It's got the orris root. But like I said, um, for the price you're paying for this fragrance, $14.99, if you liked Interlude Black Iris from the House of Amouage, I think right now it's a safe... I mean, these aren't even boxed, guys. This isn't even boxed at TJ Maxx or Marshall, so you can probably just spray your hand right there in the store and just walk around for, you know, the rest of your trip there. And if you like it, just go back and pick it up. But I will say it does have a very decent interpretation of the opening because my, and it's so dumb. I dumb, I dumbed down the, if you, I'll, again, I'll link my video down below, but I did dumb down the homage to like, it has a powdery, sweet, almost chocolatey pencil shavings type of thing, and it, which sounds really stupid, and, and it's not very, um, I don't know, professional sounding of me to say, but, you know, hey, guys, I'm, I'm just having fun with these things, right? That's the best way I can describe this one, but but I really like it. That's why I kept it. I've sold my other homages that I've had in my collection that I got in a bundle sale, and I kept that one because I really liked it. This one does have that because I, I put it on this morning or this afternoon, and I wore it, and I could smell it after three or four hours. And it does have that same uh, powdery pencil shavings, deep, dark, spicy, resinous, sort of um, uh, spicy, uh, citrusy feel. Is it fair for me to try it side by side? Like, like I'm doing it now for the video, obviously. But I will say it's I'm, I'm slightly picking, not slightly, I'm picking on this fragrance because I do have the original. But I will say, for a $14.99 fragrance, this is holding its own right now. Um, and again, I'm not sure if I'm going to do an update for the video on this one, but I will put any any like longevity, projection, any stuff like that down at the bottom. That way, we don't have to really wait for a uh, update. I can just let you know my experience with this fragrance down below. Um, but, wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Again, I'm, I've probably already said it two or three times. For $14.99, this is not a bad little clone of Black Iris from Amouage. Who who would think, right? Who would think that they would... If, if someone said, hey, we're going to make a clone, what do you think we're going to do it of? Like, I, I obviously, I'd have to ask a couple of questions. I'd be like, well, 
I would probably think something more mainstream, right? Like I, like I mentioned, uh, you know, Baccarat Rouge or the Santal 33, all the ones that these Hollywood people are putting on the map, people are making clones of, you know, Love by Killian. Now, I haven't really smelled that one out yet, but I think Rihanna or somebody, some some famous person said that that one was their favorite. So the like sales went through the roof on that fragrance because somebody made it famous. Um, either somebody made this one famous or, or they just, you know, um, Kamara Perfumes just said, you know what? We're gonna go after we're gonna go after a niche fragrance that uh, smells good. We like it. We don't care if you like it, because that's that's why you would pick this fragrance. You know that it's you know what you're doing. Like they knew what they were doing when they were making this fragrance. I gotta say, this is not a bad interpretation of an Amouage fragrance. I don't know if I've ever tried any clones of an of an Amouage fragrance. Not a Jubilation. You know, none of the ones that are super like popular. I can't even think of that many, honestly. Lyric Man, maybe. Reflection is probably the most popular, in my opinion. That's my favorite next to this one. Actually, if I were to rank, my top three are going to be probably a tie between this one and Boundless. And then, and then, um, ref, uh, Reflection. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit stronger. I mean... This is, come on, this is homage, guys. Like, these things are, be and I want to say the first time I wore this fragrance, somebody sort of made a negative comment, oh, who who wore too much cologne tonight? I mean, obviously it was me. And I did go, like, maybe four sprays with this one. But this is a beast, if I recall correctly. Um, and this one right now is holding on pretty good. Like, I'm getting the same, if not just a little bit the uh, strength from my two hands here. Like, when I'm breathing, I'm getting the vapors of the fragrance. I'm getting the same almost string. This is a little bit lighter, just a slight bit. You can tell a slight difference in these two. But man, I'm excited about this one, guys. I will I will say, I think you should get your nose on the If you've never tried um, Black Iris from Amouage, the interlude, then maybe, obviously try it. But if you've, if you've tried this one, you like it, but you're like, man, this is too expensive. I can't afford that. I think it would be almost a no-brainer if you guys see this one. Uh, now we'll say I've been to a few Marshalls, uh, cause I, there's a, there's a lot in my, my neck of the woods for some reason. There's like probably 10 in like a 20 mile radius. Um, and I've been to a bunch of them over the last like month and I haven't seen this bottle anywhere. I saw it today at lunch and then I saw it on, on, online on Facebook. So I don't know how, 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 uh, available these are at your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but if you see it, I think it might be a blind buy worthy if you like the Black Iris from Amouage. Or if you want to try something a little bit more daring, a little bit animalic, but it's spicy and sweet and resinous and slightly citrusy, this is a this is a darn, 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 darn good interpretation of, of, a, of an Amouage fragrance that I would never think that anyone would ever make. But they, they dared to do, and they did. So, guys, what are your thoughts on El Dorado Black Iris from the House of Camera Perfumes? Have you tried this fragrance? Let me know your thoughts and experience down in the comments below. Right now, I'm sort of getting the same experience. This one, again, is a little bit better, but just barely a bit. And the strength seems to be just there. So, guys, let me know your thoughts and experience down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Am I crazy for thinking this one is close? I could be, right? I could have lost my mind just doing this fragrance, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching video on my channel. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for future first impressions videos and first set of content just like this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There, you'll find first set of photos and future contest winners. And as always, till next video, you guys take care. Thanks.